While the state's public health agency says cases again are rising across the state in a statement to News 19, DHEX director said in part, the agency strongly recommends vaccinations for kids 12 and up and urges students, teachers, parents and staff to wear masks inside schools regardless of vaccination status. The statement goes on to say this is especially important as some schools have already started the new academic year and others prepare to start and several schools have already had to quarantine sports teams and students due to COVID-19. All right, believe it or not, even if your kids haven't gone back to school, today is actually the third day of school for kids in Kershaw County and the school district there. According to their online COVID-19 dashboard, cases are on the rise for their students and their staff. News 19's Ty Wong has more on this increase. This isn't just relegated to students and staff within our buildings. Um, we have to contact Trace outside of the buildings as well. Kershaw County Superintendent Dr. Shane Robbins says the school district is seeing a spike in COVID-19 cases in students and staff, but it's not surprising. We have over 11,000 students who are now for the first time in 18 months back in the building because even though we were a full five day face to face last year, by the end of the year, we we're up to about 70% of our students that were face to face. And so um, to see these numbers and then put them in perspective of our total student body population. It doesn't surprise me um, because we have so many more kids under each roof this year. The district began school last Thursday and their dashboard shows over 85 positive cases for students and over 15 positive staff members. In total, that's less than 1% of the staff and student population. Children who were in class with those students are also quarantining. That number is now over 280 district wide. Dr. Robin says most of those quarantined were infected outside of school. Um, you know, for us to have quarantined students the very first day, obviously it was it was outside of our school facilities. If a student tests positive, they will quarantine at home. The district is creating a new method for teachers to record their lessons and post it online for students to learn while in quarantine. If teachers test positive, they will go home and may have the option to have a substitute or teach virtually. If anyone shows signs of the virus during the day, schools have isolation rooms. The isolation room is only used when we identify a student that may exhibit the signs and symptoms while they're in school. We move them to the isolation room, keeping it separate from our nurse's office for a further evaluation. Students do not return back to school the next day. During the evaluation, staff members will assess if students need to quarantine or contact parents to get their child tested. Mask wearing is not mandated in the district, but is highly encouraged. Reporting in Kershaw County, Tai Wong, News 19 WLTX. Well, to d dig a little deeper, we did reach out to the State Department of Education today and a spokesperson told News 19 we continue to encourage mask use and vaccinations for those that are eligible in line with DHEC public health guidance for K through 12 school operations. State law prohibits school districts from requiring masks for students or staff. Again, that's that new law that was just passed. USC students will